I feel like this is a lot of food for a freezer prep meal. We'll see how it comes down to. I'm anticipating making at least three large meals, if not six. So we'll see how we get. I will leave my grocery list, the recipe inspiration, and the cost of each item down in the description box below so you can kind of get an idea. Obviously, everybody's prices are different, but let's give a quick overview of what I'm using. I have three bell peppers and three onions. I'm going to saute those in a hot pan to get them all ready to go for these recipes. I have some zucchini, a tomato, three sweet potatoes, I also picked up this sauce, which is totally unnecessary. You can do this or you don't have to do it. It's completely up to you, but it's so good. We've bought a few of these before, and if you're wondering, you can see right there at the bottom, maybe it's vegan. <laughs> anyways, anyways, these sauces are really good, and I thought this would just really amp up a lot of flavor from this meal. Corn tortillas, gluten-free pasta, and then a plethora of canned items, which you could totally do, you know, your own beans, your own corn, you can make your own enchilada sauce. This is just making it quick and easy. Chickpeas, black beans times two, enchilada sauce, red times two, crushed tomatoes, and corn. So, $20 worth of ingredients. Let's get started on the meals. I want to quickly say thank you so much for clicking on this video while I'm cutting and chopping because that is the majority of what this video is going to be is cutting and chopping and then sharing with you at the end the meals that I created. Spoiler alert, there's a lot of them. So for 20 bucks, this is a heck of a freezer meal prep challenge for filling my freezer for just $20. I love personally having freezer meals on hand. So on really busy nights, I can pull one out like in the morning, have it ready to go kind of unthawing in my fridge and then pop it in the oven or the crock pot or the instant pot in the evening. Plus I can always gift them to people, people in need. If someone has a baby or is, you know, really needing food or a blessing, bam, I can give them a meal. So I wanted to chat with you real quickly as I'm cutting and chopping and let you know that this video is sponsored by Albert, and I'm so thankful that they have sponsored this video. Thank you to you guys for supporting me and for also supporting them. When you support them, you're also supporting my channel. So let's roll back in time a little bit in case you are new to my channel, in case this is your first video here. Hi, my name is Miranda, and I'm so happy you clicked on the video. If you're returning, you know you're one of my people, and I'm so glad you're here. So in September of 2020, I became super hyper-focused on low-spend grocery hauls, low-spend meal ideas, and I started posting all over the internet, it felt like, about how passionate I was over saving money. And the reason I was so excited for it is because I could control the amount of that I was spending on our groceries because we were on a financial freedom journey. We paid off almost $35,000 in debt in six months. We became homeowners within a year and it was just a really exciting journey for us. So anytime I can find something that I know will help you guys in your own financial journey, whether that is to become debt free or to save money in any way, I will share it with you guys. And for me, that is now Albert. If you have not heard of Albert, I am so happy that you clicked on today's video. It is 100% free to sign up and so easy to use. They will actually help you save money by looking at your income and expenses, seeing where you can save money and then automatically move money to your savings account. With our old traditional banks, we always got charged for monthly fees, checking, savings, maintenance, all of that. With Albert, it's 100% free. Plus, you're actually gonna earn five to 20% cash back by using their debit card. And you can get up to $250 whenever you need it, no overdraft fees. They'll spot you up to $250 instantly if you're in a crunch. You can also get paid up to two days early. If you're like me, I admit this, I am very good at controlling my grocery budget, but that's the only expense I'm good at. I am pretty much terrible at managing money. I'm really thankful my husband's really good at it. He's also very passionate about it. So together, I feel like we make a really good team. But if you're like me, it's okay. Albert has a team of financial experts they call geniuses that will look over your situation, help you make a plan, and answer your questions whenever you get stuck. 
click the link in the description box or go to albert.com slash running on plants to download the Albert app today. That's albert.com slash running on plants for a limited time. When you open a checking account and connect a qualifying direct deposit, you'll get $150. Thank you so much for letting me just kind of chat with you. I am very passionate about saving money and helping people reach financial freedom because it is a journey that we took ourselves on. And I feel like it was like one of those spiritual journeys that like I am so grateful for the grind because it made me a better person. It's why I continue to share budget friendly meal recipes with you guys because we're still on that journey but in a whole different way. I shared that one of our biggest goals is the last on our checklist. We became debt free, we bought a house, and now we plan to adopt. So I am looking for every way I can to save money, which is why I continue to share ideas with you guys and of course, low budget meals. So as I was cutting and chopping, you saw I was putting some of the veggies into a bag because I forgot to let you know in the intro that one of these is a instant pot or a pressure cooker or a crock pot meal. And I was kind of excited to do something different. So I will share with you at the end which one that is, but that's why I'm cutting and chopping so many veggies. But honestly, let me know in the comments below if you're like me. I love to cut and chop. I think my actual like self should probably go back to culinary school and become a sous chef because I just I could literally do it all day long. Put on a podcast, cut and chop. I'm good. I'm in my happy place. That's what I do all weekend long and I literally love it. So this is the first meal. I went ahead and wrote the directions or the instructions on the top so I wouldn't forget. Obviously, you're going to want to do that before you put the food in the bag, but Honest, I just wasn't gonna dump it out and then write on it. It's fine. This meal tastes amazing, by the way. You need to give this one a go. This meal is finished. Obviously, you should write on your bag before you get everything in it, but I don't wanna dump it out. Don't wanna waste a bag. And I got these on a super steep discount. And I like to have them on hand for gifting to people or to have a freezer meal. I mean, I know that a bag is not you know the most eco-friendly thing but when they are here at my house i reuse them over and over and over i just rinse them real quick and reuse them so not too bad so this is a crock pot meal which i forgot to mention in the beginning this will all go in the crock pot on low for three to four hours you can also save out the zucchini if you want to but it's going to be really really flavorful if you put it all in low three to four hours or high for an hour or two it'll let the potatoes cook really quickly you can also do this in your instant pot or pressure cooker and then the sauce is just gonna go on the side and I will add two cups of coconut milk with this, but it'll be super easy. Dinner's ready to go. I basically just have to dump it, set it, forget it. We're good to go. All the copy, chopping, cutting is done. It makes it super convenient. Plus you can also gift this to, to someone if they are in need of a meal or they just had a baby or you just want to bless them with a meal. You can say here, throw this in your crock pot, add two cups of coconut milk. You can also add a coconut can of coconut milk to this if they want to do a can instead of like the silk coconut milk, which is what I typically use. Give them a quick directions in like a little thank you note or just a, like a little thinking of you note and you have a meal ready to go and it's so colorful, so delicious and there we go. Meal number one is finished. When I was planning out my freezer meals, I was thinking of ingredients that I could use across the board between multiple recipes. That is how my brain works when it comes to meal planning. It's no different when I'm doing video planning. So that is why I'm cutting so many peppers and onions. I try to make these things as realistic as possible because if you are going to be in your kitchen all day doing freezer meals, you know it's gonna take you some time. So if you guys see me cutting and chopping a lot, it's because that is time consuming. So these onions and peppers, it was like two peppers. I think it was one pepper per meal, one onion per meal is what it ended up being. You could do more or less. You could also do different vegetables. It's completely up to your taste buds. I cut them down really, really small and then sauteed them in a hot, hot pan with water. I don't cook with oil. It's just a personal preference. I cook with water, but I cook them down because then it's one step quicker for the enchiladas and for the enchilada pasta that I'm about to show you. 
I'm gonna add my chili seasoning to this. I will type out the recipe and leave it in the description box and I'm going very heavy handed because it's a freezer meal. So I'm probably <laughs> adding three to four tablespoons. Going to mix this up real quick and then this is gonna go in the next few meals. We're making an enchilada pasta and we're making enchiladas. So I like to have this cooked and you know ready to go because then the freezer meal itself, you just pop in the oven and for the pasta one, you can just make the pasta really quick and you're ready to go. Add a little salt, garlic, you're good to go. I also decided to add some fresh tomatoes because I am obsessed with tomatoes. Literally my favorite food since I was a kid. So anytime I have the chance to add tomatoes, and I'm so sorry for anyone who doesn't like them, who's allergic to them, I'm so, 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 so sorry because I love them. You could also do like a roasted red pepper if you like peppers and not tomatoes, but I had to add some fresh ones. And then I went ahead and rinsed all of my beans. You could definitely do pinto beans, white beans, northern beans. You could do anything you have on hand. One of the things I like to say with my recipes is they're not really recipes. I, like I said, I will link the inspiration that I got from Pinterest down below. I kind of followed them, kind of didn't. But one thing that's really, really nice is you can take what I have, use it for inspiration, and literally swap every single ingredient and make it your own based on what you have available to you, what you have in your pantry. A lot of these items are pantry staples, so you could go make this meal probably for dinner tonight, have a new meal for yourself, and your family will really love it. Or maybe it's something you've made before. So I went ahead and added half of the onions and peppers to this dish. This is the pasta dish and I just mixed it in a bowl. I'll explain here in a little bit um, what I ended up doing with this because I did use a gluten-free pasta. So we'll get into that in a little bit. And then this is another mix of beans, corn, and more of the peppers and onions. And I'm gonna actually add half of a can of the enchilada sauce to this and then roll a bunch of enchiladas. Now. I'm gonna be honest, these enchiladas are kind of messy. So if you have a better method, please leave it below. I poured a little of the enchilada sauce in the pan and then rolled the enchiladas and kind of just got them in there, but they're delicious. They're so delicious. It made four pans of enchiladas. You can definitely reuse the pans, you can gift them, whatever works for you. If you have um, more like stable, reusable like glass containers or plastic containers that you want to freeze them in, that's perfect too. I like to use things that I know I can gift so I can like take it out and gift it if I have to. Or if our food pantry does, a lot of times they do freezer meals or they'll do like gift meals. I have something on hand that I can be like, okay, I have something, I don't need the dish back and you know, we're good to go. So again, if you have a better method for wrapping enchiladas, use that method. My method is not Bible, it's not great, but it worked out. They were still delicious. experiment two days ago with this pasta and it does not freeze well. So if you have a gluten-free pasta that you like that freezes well, you can use it. That's completely up to you. So this freezer meal prep did make three meals. However, I already popped one in the oven and like this pasta just didn't freeze well. It's not like normal pasta. It doesn't reheat well. That that's okay. This pasta will normally reheat well, like if I make it and then just put it in the fridge for a couple days and then pop it in the microwave, it's fine. But freezer wise, that was a no. So I what I did is I put the crushed tomatoes and the enchilada sauce in with the mix within that big bowl. And then I saved it in little baggies. So this did make three meals and I'm actually just gonna have the pasta on the side. So I'll take this mix out of the freezer 
when I want to eat it, it can unthaw in my fridge for like a day or so. And then I can just quickly whip up some pasta and we have a meal really fast and easy. Again, it's about saving time. Plus, like I said earlier, if I wanna gift a meal to someone or bless someone with a meal, I can grab a box of pasta really quick from the store, put this with it and then write out a quick directions and say, okay, here's what you gotta do. There's a quick meal for you. You can also like get them some garlic bread or French bread or whatever you wanna do if you wanna make them a homemade loaf of bread. I will link two bread recipe videos down below one with a gluten-free and one with a regular. So if you need a gluten-free bread, you have it. But again, this is what I'm doing. So I'm gonna pop these in the freezer and then I'll have the pasta on the side to make when we're ready to eat this meal. I also thought it'd be really great to give you like a final overview. So in total, I made three, four, five, six, seven, eight meals for $20. This is a very large meal. You could definitely separate this and have it as two meals. Again, you're going to need the sauce or at least coconut milk or some veggie broth to kind of move this along. You could also turn this into a chili, add some pinto beans and some chili and tomatoes and have like a sweet potato chili instead. Totally up to you. This is a really big meal. Uh, I'm excited for this one. I think it's gonna taste so delicious. So one meal here and then three meals. You're only seeing the two. Like I said, we already made one to kind of test it out with this pasta. Didn't love it when it was frozen. So we'll just have it on the side. And then last but not least, I have four enchilada meals, which are gonna pop in the freezer real quickly. Um, I had them in my refrigerator just to sit for a few days in case we did want to have one, but also I wanted to show them to you without them being like super cold. But yeah, one meal, four meals, three meals, eight meals for $20 super easy way to make things ahead, have them on hand, make your life super convenient and really, really budget friendly. As always, thank you so much for clicking on this video, for watching and for just really enjoying the content that I put out. I have a lot more budget ideas coming very soon. The next video I'm putting up, which is going to be on Thursday, is also a budget video. So make sure if you're not, you're subscribed. And if you are subscribed, make sure your notifications are turned on because I've been putting up some bonus videos on Saturdays and you're not gonna wanna miss a few that I have coming up in the month of March because I did do a full home tour, which I will link down below if you wanna check that out. But I'm gonna do a furnished home tour in March and you're not gonna wanna miss it. Have an awesome day, I'll see you on Thursday. Bye-bye.